Hey guys, what's up? It's Elise here and today I am going to be showing you what is in my backpack. I have been hiking out here on the Appalachian Trail for a little over two months now and I'm going to be hiking for another couple months. So I am really excited to share this with you. I have been kind of tweaking my backpack situation, like all of the stuff that I'm carrying with me uh, while I'm hiking for the past couple months. And I feel like I've finally got it down pretty well. Um, I've been trying to get it a little bit more lightweight and just make sure that all of the things that I'm carrying in here are things that I use on pretty much a daily basis. Here on my channel, I share videos about self-love, empowerment, fitness, nutrition, and right now my hike on the AT. So if you're interested in any of those topics, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the little bell to turn on your notifications. That way you will not miss any of my videos. All right guys, here's what's in my pack. So in this video, I'm just gonna give you the quick rundown of all of the items that I am carrying and then I'm going to have another video on my other YouTube channel, which I'm gonna link down below, which is gonna be like a full detailed rundown of my thoughts on each item, what I use it for, and just much more description than what you're gonna see here. So if you're interested in hiking gear, definitely check out the video link down below. Okay, so first things first, this is my backpack. It's called the Arc Scout. It's from Z Packs, and its capacity is 50 liters and I love it quite a bit. So I pack my pack in the same order every single day. Um, pretty much the things that are on the top are the things that I use the most frequently. The first thing in my pack is my poncho, which is also from the company Z Packs. And it looks kind of like a space suit costume. It's really, really styling. Here it is, all opened up. It's pretty awesome, and when I wear this, I wear it on top of not only myself, but also my backpack, which is really sweet because it keeps everything dry. And yeah, that's my uh, waterproof gear. The next thing in my pack is my food bag, which is the heaviest item in the bag. This is a Sea to Summit waterproof 13 liter bag, I think. And this is what I put all of my food in usually three to six days of food on average. Next thing in the pack is yet again, another item from Z Packs. Um, the reason I like this company so much is because all of their stuff is super, super lightweight and waterproof. So here is the tent that Addison and I are both sharing. If you've been following my whole trail series, you probably know that I started out sleeping in a hammock and just very recently Addison and I both uh, decided to switch to sharing a tent. So this is our tent inside of here. It's a little over one pound, between one and two pounds, which is really, really awesome. And it's really spacious as well. Next thing is my clothing bag. I like to keep everything in bags just so it's like super organized and not just like all crazy all about in the pack. Um, so inside of here are all of the clothes that I carry and my hat and also the uh, towel that I wash myself with every evening and my little friend Moosey. So the next thing that's in my pack is my top quilt which is very very similar to a sleeping bag it's just like a little bit more open than a sleeping bag is it doesn't zip all the way up it zips like a quarter of the way and this is from the company Enlightened Equipment, and I got to choose the colors of this when I ordered it, which was pretty cool. So it's like royal purple and blue, as you can see. And um, mine was like a kid size, which was kind of cool. It was a little bit cheaper than the others. And as you can see, the zipper goes from here to here, and then the rest of it is open, and you can kind of hook it to make it more of a sleeping bag. As you can see, the top quilt is what takes up the majority of space in my bag. It's definitely not like an item that I can squish down that much. So I try as much as I can. The last item that's inside my pack is this sleeping pad, um, which I think I'm actually going to end up replacing. 
used to be twice as long as it is now but I've cut it in half so that it really just covers my torso from my shoulders down past my butt um, because the rest is kind of excessive and unnecessary to have padding where my legs are. So I cut it down a little bit, but it's still pretty bulky as you can see. It takes up quite a bit of room in my pack, so I'm probably going to be switching this item, but as far as everything else, it's here to stay. So now let's look at the items that are on the outside of my pack. Sometimes I put these on the inside if they can fit. If I have less food in my food bag, usually these can fit inside. Um, so one of these is my toiletry bag. Inside is my little soap, my tooth, toothbrush, toothpaste. Uh, my menstrual cup is in here. I also have some other non-toiletry related items in here, uh, like my headlamp. So when it's nighttime and the moon is not shining bright, I turn this little guy on and helps me see where I'm going if I need to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. And then I also have my daisy. If you guys have seen my birth control video, you know what this is from. And I have earplugs in here and a razor, which I have like wrapped up in this plastic bag. And then I also have floss. If you're curious exactly like what toothbrush, what headlamp I'm using and all of the items that I'm using, I have most of them listed on my website under the hiking gear page. So I'm gonna link that down below if you're interested. I put together that page for you to make it a little bit easier to find items for your own personal adventures. So in my next little bag, this is kind of like a miscellaneous bag. First thing in my miscellaneous bag is this blue rope that I use to hang my clothes on. Uh, then I have my wallet. I have this little stand for my phone, this little tripod. It's got a little connector in here as well. And then in here I have some vitamin D patches, which I've been trying out recently. Some band-aids, some wipes phone charger thing and a tampon. <laughs> this is the bag that I put my earrings in if I ever don't want to wear them. Another thing that I keep on the outside of my pack are my zero shoes. One of the most frequently asked questions that I get is where are my sandals from? I've been wearing these for years now um, and they are my favorite. They're so awesome. You can like roll them up in a little ball. They're super lightweight and they allow you to really feel the ground beneath your feet, which is important to me. And I'm going to share a link down below on where you can find these guys. Okay, so we're almost done with the whole backpack situation. There's just two outside pockets that I'm going to show you. In this pocket, I have a SteriPen. Usually Addison carries this. This is what we purify our water with. Basically what it does is kills viruses and bacteria with ultraviolet rays and it takes 90 seconds you just put it inside your water stir it around a little bit and it shows you a smiley face when it's done but yeah like I said Addison usually carries this I also want to mention Addison carries our pot and our stove that we cook with um, I think that's the only other thing that he carries that we both share and I carry the tent that we share so here is my pack cover this just goes over the entire pack when it is raining and I also use this like as a seat if the ground is ever super wet. The last thing in here is my own little pot that I carry. I usually make some tea and oatmeal in this. The other pocket carries my hairbrush and in here is usually some toilet paper. My snacks for the day go in that pocket and then I have an external charger. You guys ask me all the time how I keep my phone charged. I recently started using this Anchor. Super, super powerful. It can charge it like seven times. All right, guys, that is all that's in my backpack. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Again, if you're interested in learning the details about what I use all these items for and what I like about them most, what maybe I don't like about them, basically if you're interested in backpacking yourself and maybe don't have all of the gear that you need yet, definitely, definitely check out the video that I'm linking down below with a video where I go into all the details. 
Okay, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I love you and I hope that you're having an awesome day or night and I will see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.